Hey Capricorn Collective. I'm going to pop from the wild unknown first and see what the thing is. And then get into the reading. There's some crazy energy going on. Somebody said, I looked at the time she said it, but it was 23 hours. And I felt it last night. So she felt it the night before. But what she said, I know to be true because spirit gave me the same message and i was like okay these people are out of their mind they just hodgepodge it's like um like gumbo just throwing anything in asking anybody to kill you anybody uh, angel please kill them um they calling on gods demons and angels and it'll make you toss and turn if you on their list uh, and watch for energy transference. That means, let's say, it's three people. The, just say this person don't mean you no ill will. This person does. If this person gives this person something and they give it to you, and they're getting it from person that's a dark energy or entity it'll whatever it is they give you could possibly kill you real talk uh, it's always untimely because it's unnatural uh, what else did I say some people that God uses other people to tell you to get away from. You know, don't hang out with that person. It's a bad person. You need to get away from that person. That person ain't right. Blah, blah, blah. You keep on. If they kill you, that's just what it is. Because you can't keep on talking to people because people don't take evil serious enough. They play with it. And I think it comes, it stems from people really playing with church because a lot of people grew up in church. And they played in church. People have sex in church. Do all kind of stuff within churches. And when you grow up and not really showing reference to something that you abhor for real, you don't like going to church. You don't know why I got to go here. I don't even like it. So they treat it accordingly. So everything is haphazard. People handle things haphazardly. Because they don't think that evil is real. I don't know if they just think it's real in the movies. Or if they know it's real. But because it's a family member or a so-called friend. Or somebody you once slept with or sleeping with. You see what you see. You feel what you feel. You know what you know. If you continue to ignore it, that's on you. Because God ain't going to keep on sending people to tell you nothing. Let me shapeshift their energies. For real, these people is nuts. I really wish I didn't have to be here. Because that's what they do. They put God in a box. And they put you in a box or coffin. Because these people with this witchcraft, they really think they are God. Now it's apocalypse time. A lot of people made deals with devils or witches, dark witches. And shit, they may have forgot, but honey, the, the witch ain't forgot. Remember that mirror magic you paid for? Or remember this? Or you were supposed to pay for it? Or you told me you wanted to do this to so-and-so? Giving seed offerings to a dark witches. If you give seed offerings to a dark witch, then you, <laughs> you with them. Don't try to act like you ain't with them. You know what you did. You know who you gave your money to. You know who you bought into. Voodoo queens. On the dark side of things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some people get these people money to kill their parents. They really do. But they don't care. They sick. They sick. When I say sick, they sick, but... Humanity allowed it to get to this point, to the point where we got to wear masks. 
but we got to deal with all of these shadows like we live in literally in hell earth is supposed to be heavenly actually it really is these people just take over because they don't think god is real they think everything is funny and everything is temporary and they can just do stuff and not be held responsible for the shit they do. hunter some of y'all may be horse energy i don't know what the hunter is about well, yeah, it, hunting season is all seasons now it used to just be for winter but uh, like i said before it's all seasons they hunting to see who they can kill on the hunt for more and more blood and people sowing more and more seeds soon And they work and do this shit day in and day out. 79. That's my father's birthday, man. Seven. Today is my mother's birthday. Happy Earth Strama. She ain't resting in peace, but I pray that one day she can. The seeker, the pursuer, the predator. They just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. And mind you, before you knew that anybody was doing anything to you, you wasn't paying these people no attention. You wasn't gossiping about these people. You wasn't talking about these people. You was too busy hunting for your own food. Too busy hunting for your own well-being. You weren't thinking about these people. But then when you get wind of it and you speak on it, now it's a... They like to have an adversary. They like to have somebody to... Go back and forth with. It's like I wasn't even thinking about you. We're doing nothing to you. It's only 24 hours in a day. Who the hell spend their time talking to somebody, talking about people that don't do anything for you? Outside of be your enemy and make your life a living hell. I'm just trying to understand. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eyes. This archetype will journey far and wide, seeking the prize to cause his heart or stomach. So some people hunt for their home because home is where the heart is. And then some people hunt for their stomach because they're always hungry for more and more. But it'd be at the expense of other people. Creeping on a come up is what they call it. Tales of bravery and feats of strength after result creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and results oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Artemis who carries her quiver upon her bay. The hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? And the weapon of their choice is witchcraft, candles, herbs, anything, anything, your picture, your imagery, anything, honey, they, I mean, no limits, no limits, baby. You hear me? And it says, why am I hunting it? Why am I hunting it? That's what I said. They like that back and forth. They like you to be an adversary. You don't be thinking about them. They be on you before you can even. You be like, who is this attacking me? And then when God shows you who it is, then they come up with a reason why. Or you said this and that. You was you was hunting it. You was handing it out for me before I even picked up anything to protect myself. 
or to shoot back whatever it is you're shooting at me. You started it. And when I speak up for myself, then you want to act like it was always a beef. No, it wasn't. People don't be paying people no attention for real. How can you, when you got to pay bills every month, make sure you eat, make sure your children eat, make sure you can pay your rent, make sure you got this together, make sure you got that together. If you're a responsible person, honey, I don't see how these weirdos find the time. But their job is to find other people's money. <coughs> find out how to get into other people's pockets. How to kill somebody to get their money so they could keep on eating. Because it's a stomach thing, you know, not a heart thing. When light, focused, energized, respectful, season. When dark, irresponsible, violates, violent, and poaching. Go deeper with Frida Kahlo's The Wounded Deer. When you activate the hunter archetype, you are aligning your energy with the great creatures of the world, the lion, the wolf, the tiger, the shark. Do so with care. You don't care about nothing. And some of y'all being attacked by Sagittarius. Study the Greek goddess Artemis. Notice her nuanced relationship to the moon, the earth, and the feminine. The predator honors its prey with a precise and skillful hunt. The hunter deeply reveres the life it aims to take. It reveres, deeply reveres. It's like an obsession. Just keep on and keep on. Some of y'all really do got Sagittarius energies. I mean, they don't knock it off. I mean, just keep on and keep on till you die kind of situation. Like, is you for real? You know, at some point you're like, oh, okay, this is more serious than what the fuck I thought. Because I can't even call the police because you're going to say you, they, they, they predators. They nuts. Honey, they're nuts. This is all I can say. Let's see. I don't know why they think y'all owe them something. I don't know where these people come from thinking somebody owe them something. I don't know where the mindset comes from. I don't know what would make somebody kill their mother. I don't know what would make somebody kill their father. I don't know what would make somebody kill an ex-partner. Um, I really don't know. It's got to be psychosis and illusion that they've been trapped in for so long that that's, that has become their life. They revere. Like, you revere who you're going to kill? That's kind of creepy. They operate like animals, but want to live like royalty. How does that work? It's so disgusting and weird. Sagittarius symbols all over the hunter in that book. That's why I said a Sagittarius. Because it's horse energy. Half human, half horse. Just keep on and keep on and keep on. They dark. It ain't nobody light, of course. They dark. And they just don't know how to stop. Like, it's like they get caught up and they just keep on. Like, it's a job to kill one person. I mean, it's got it out for you. It's psychotic and it's sickening. You gotta watch who you take stuff from because energy transference is very real. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Straight up nut. Straight up nut. When I say nut, we mean nuts. Because you are destined for high honors. 
because you're destined to be triumphant, because you're destined to get public recognition, because you're destined for success, because you're destined to have victory over your enemies. They want to try to defy the odds and change your destiny. It's not even fated for you to go through some of these things y'all be going through. These people are just out of their minds. And if you don't shine a light on it, they just going to keep on. Four of swords. Trying to kill y'all in y'all sleep. Watch yourself in y'all sleep. Because a lot of times, a lot of people die in their sleep because they choke you in your own um, phlegm. For real, your own mucus. They will kill you that way. That's not God. That's not even natural. When you wake up 15, 55 on the clock and you can't breathe, a lot of this stuff is stemming from the slavery that existed in 1555 because what people need to understand is that black people wasn't always slaves that was just a moment in time Mansa Musa was in the 1800s one of the richest wealthiest men on the planet he was black as hell the transatlantic slave trade was just one moment in time and it's in carry all the way over to 2023 where people still being attacked and killed unnaturally and they vigilant and a possible transformation they looking for is for you to transcend up out of here And they have succeeded killing some people. They really do. They don't care. They weird. Right. Like Uncle Michael. And then blame a doctor. Quit blaming a doctor for your insomnia. He can't give you anything when it's somebody tampering with your energy. It's not a doctor's job to give you anything. He can't give you but so much melatonin. They want to act like stuff don't exist when it do. It's so annoying. So you can tell this BL's above energy because it's so annoying. People trying to live their life, then the next thing you know. Here come a dumb bitch. A old one, a young one. It don't even matter. For real. A man, a woman, it don't matter. A dumb bitch is a dumb bitch. Everybody that was killed coming up. Auntie Whitney died unnaturally. Uncle Bobby died unnaturally. Uncle Michael died unnaturally. They don't care. They celebrate that. They didn't act like they ain't doing nothing. If I know a motherfucker doing shit and it's going all around a family that this person kills people for money or kills people for sport and play, I wouldn't give a fuck if this bitch look like this at church or at the family reunion or at the cookout. I'm not talking to the bitch. What kind of weird shit is that? If I could just keep on patronizing these weird people. For real, where's your convictions at? Don't talk to me about no damn Bible. Don't talk to me about nothing. If you can't stand up for yourself and stand up for something greater than yourself and be ready to die for what you know is right and know is real. And for real, for real, that's yourself. Self-preservation is the first law. I can talk about what the fuck you doing to me. And don't tell me it ain't you doing it because my God mind tell me that it is. If I wake up choking half to death and a thought or a name come across my mind, that's the name that's doing what it is is being done to me. It ain't hard. You ain't think of that person by coincidence. They can't get out of your energy field. You just want to ignore what the fuck you hear. 
I don't deal with cowards. He just don't. Because you don't trust in him. And he be looking just like this. Quit talking to me. Quit praying to me. You're a coward. You laugh when ain't shit funny. You hug and greet, greet people that's going to kill you after they hug and greet you. This be going on for 20, 30 years in some families. They be acting like they don't know shit. How are you supposed to be respected as an elder if you act like nothing is happening? You just sitting there dying every day. My mother was murdered. I saw her murder literally right before my eyes. I saw her deterioration right before my eyes. I knew they was going to kill my mother. Because when I went to her job where she worked at before she died, it was some crows that came in a parking lot and I threw them some bread. Or whatever it is, I think I had some bread or something in the car and I just threw it to them. Just thanking them to give me the warning that something, something, some carcass around here. People are doing something to kill somebody around here. This is just how I look after I get in my car. Light a joint, light a cigarette, and keep on on my way. And stay connected to God. You got intuition beating you upside your head every day. And you still doing the same shit. And then it be secrets all in families. You don't be knowing nothing about it. I don't be knowing nothing about no secrets. That ain't my, I mean, if it's a secret, then it's a secret then, right? It becomes my issue when a motherfucker coming for me. Or I know a motherfucker coming from my father. Or a motherfucker coming for my mother. Or a motherfucker coming for people that I love. Then, yeah, it's a motherfucking problem. And, yeah, I'm going to speak on it. Ain't nobody going to stop me from speaking on it, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you think you got, what powers you think you hold. All you got is a big ass head with a bunch of noise in it, and you don't know how to do nothing else but commit murder in secret. You're weird. And they ain't talking Lauren. Lauren is attacked by these same fucking energies where she can't even do what she needs to do for her children and her career and what she was born to do. Everybody got to put their damn life purpose on hold for these weird ass hoes. trying to act like they all fake pious and shit. What's your fake, bitch? You're just worried about somebody's destiny and reading somebody's damn birth chart. What's your fake, bitch? And they got an audacity to say, who that she thinks she is? Who the fuck you think you is? Clearly somebody got from up under some crazy ass spell work and can finally change. Because you want to. And ain't nobody got you bound up where you can't. More than likely a weird ass Sagittarius or Cancerian energy or a Gemini energy. Keeping y'all in stalemate back and forth like you bipolar and out of your damn mind. Up and down, up and down. Can't find your footing, can't find your ground. Because somebody got it out for you every five damn minutes. So they can look like this after you dead. I mean, how insane can one be? Another wheel of fortune right above your head. Big wheels keep on turning, right? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all wake up. Boy, y'all know something. Y'all can feel it. Stop acting like you don't feel it. 
Stop laying next to your enemy. Get up. Tell them to pack their shit and get the fuck out. Don't nobody care about no litigations. Don't nobody care about no damn money or what you owe or what you gonna owe an alimony and all this. If you did, then what? They want a nigga to get some rest. You gotta be mindful of a bitch or a nigga that don't love you for real and is a witch or a warlock always telling you to get some rest like they care. Yeah, right. Want you to get some rest so they got they can take you out in your fucking sleep or get some rest so you can be sleep to what the fuck they doing. These people ain't shit compared to a law. Everybody running around scared but still going to church with these same people. Still fellowshipping with these same people. Putting you in separation or trying to. Doing all manners of evil against you and you want to keep on hanging out, eating chicken with them. What kind of shit is that? Don't you don't want you to uproot their ass? Some of y'all tuned in to y'all stuff. They got up out of this crazy ass dynamic and they still gunning for you every day. Ninth house ain't shit but Sagittarius energy. Big anaconda ass bitches. For babies. I'm trying to trap y'all with babies. I mean, it's just everything you don't want, they're going to make you want it. Everything you say you don't want, they're going to try to figure out a way to tell you that's what you want. That's like force feeding a baby. I hate to see people force feed a baby. If a baby got their mouth shut tight like this, why would you keep on forcing the spoon? That's a psycho. You got a control issue and you got a force issue. We'll talk about the police. Please. Ain't no worse than seeing a mother force feeding a, a newborn that can't speak for themselves. And they steadily don't want it. And you steadily stuff in their mouth when they got their lips held tight. Spells not working. Can't okay, right up on the reversal of you not being able to change but wanting to. But can't because they got you bound up in your spirit. And they got your body all bound up. All these hoes need to face the penitentiary or face the electric chair, but I wouldn't waste no money on no electricity. Can't you just inject them with something? Don't know which way to go. All they know is death and mayhem and destruction and lying and gossiping and stealing. And killing. A lot been in America. When it was when did he, when did I have a visitation with a law? What is this? March. I don't even know. That might have been what was that beginning? Talking about December, January. He been here for a few months. Trying to understand this little dynamic called America. The little obsession with people that fall in love, that meet the love of their life, and now everybody's just so overly obsessed and want to be in your bedroom and shit. Want to get in your bed to see how y'all hug and kiss. Kind of weird shit. Like, what? And I be saying, Allah, that's been going on for so long. And I ain't number 44, and I'm older than that, and been back and forth between Africa, uh, the Caribbean, uh, California, so that's America. I'm talking about times that I've been on this earth before, not as Lamia, but as another energy. Same shit. And still I see no changes. And still I see no changes. Protect your assets because your assets is people. 
If you got a divine feminine, protect your asset. If you got a divine masculine, protect your asset. You got divine children, protect your asset. Not the shit she's holding in her hand. Not all of these things that I left behind. And Allah will test you on materialism to see how addicted you are to it. Because this place is weird, honestly. The sick material um, obsessions and addictions. A lot of people murder a lot of men, Capricorns, a lot of women Capricorns. If you had parents to die or parents to lose their mind or whatever the case may be, y'all don't understand form of spell work or witchcraft. People was killing y'all people, trying to kill y'all, making y'all people go crazy, all kind of shit. This is justice all over the place. Three justice cards. The phase, feminine energy, and masculine energy. The elementals, masculine energy, and feminine energy. Three damn justice cards. How long you been waiting for Justice Capricorn? Don't make no damn sense. Spell work not working. They so used to it. They done made that they God besides God a long time ago. A long time ago. It's 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 disturbing what I'm picking up. <laughs> and this is about like, you know what? They obsess with other people's two of cups. It's not your it's not three of cups, it's two. Why are you in people's love lives? Who told you to look into anybody? Then with you? You have people looking in the twin flames, uh, birth charts and all kind of stuff. More than they look into their own self. It's not your union. Go find out where you're supposed to be at. And a lot of these people don't even want a union. They just want money and sex. They don't want commitment. They hate responsibility. They free-spirited type of entities. For real. They just want the wealth that love, real love brings. They want the provision, not the people. You know you're going to get a magical new beginning because when something aligns and it fits, it just does. A lot of times, men mistake falling in love fast for witchcraft. No, you just never been in love before. And when it's like that, they run in the opposite direction towards the witch that's been had them bound up for years. You're like, why are you running that way? When it's real, it doesn't have to grow into anything well we can grow to love each other no that's not how love works it's instantaneous you love who you love you don't have to figure out oh do i really like his face or his nose do i really like his his outfit do i really like that's not how it works beauty is an eye of the beholder They look at people like a dress. Oh, is that going to fit right? I don't know if I like the way that's cut. I don't know if I want an A-line. I don't know if I want a straight cut. I don't know if I want buttons. Do I want pockets? Like, bitch. Shut up. Always coming for Ten of Pentacles. Always coming for people's hard work. Like, it's unreal. Somebody by the last name Denard. Warmongers. 
but it's really their own internal wars that they project outwardly to other people. They're so mixed up and chopped up and screwed up in their head, they will conjure a narrative up. That's like I said, you won't have no idea that somebody's attacking you like this. This person could be, let's see, this person. Just sitting at home minding your business. Then all of a sudden, things start happening abnormally. That tower card where she's looking like, hold up, what the fuck? Why am I feeling this? Why am I choking after that? Why can't I sleep? Why am I breaking out? Why is my hair falling out? Why am I hemorrhaging? Why is this happening? Why is my car being took? Why is my uh, why am I getting evicted? Why 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 is my bank account being uh tampered with? You see what I'm saying? Who changed my name on this policy? I never put this person as the uh whatever they call it on an insurance policy. The policy, not the policy holder, but you know, I don't know. I don't get off into that stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Switching people's stuff around without their permission. What they do, they make you go crazy in your headspace. And then before you know it, you're writing over everything. You're giving over everything to these weirdos. Then when you figure out they're doing something to you and you go to protect yourself, now, now we got a war. Now, now let's get it on. What? You're the warmongerer. Nobody was doing anything to you. More than likely, they were being warm towards you. Ongoing, for real. Because people understand, you got something going on inside. But at a certain point, you got to cut these motherfuckers off. And let them die inside of their own minds and inside of their own bodies and beings. Implode. Yeah, man. These hoes is busted. This. That's all they do is bother people that ain't bothering nobody. Some of y'all father's energy is saying this. They bother people that ain't bothering nobody. If y'all have a father that's no longer here, and y'all still have y'all mother here, or y'all have the love of y'all life somewhere just sitting minding their fucking business, this is an asset. They attack people that aren't bothering them. They're like beings. They're not bothering you. They're at home minding their business. They're not thinking about you. They're sitting there possibly thinking about the goodness of God. Possibly thinking about how grateful they are to have somewhere to live that they're not outside. She looks like, like she's outside, but the hermit card is somebody that is inside. A couple of hermit cards are pointing to people being outside, but when you a channeler, of course, because everybody is evicted now. But under natural circumstances, people don't be at home thinking about nobody doing nothing to nobody. They got sense in their head and they don't have a war or inner jihad going on within themselves. They're not doing nothing. You know, fake ass love spells. This shit ain't working. Can't make nobody love you. What type of shit is this? Excuse me. People can't even get to work. People can't even do what they're supposed to do. Because they burden by these hoes. It ain't nothing but matches. Because they keep on sparking the flame. Don't know how to knock it off. But once you buy into this, you can't knock it off. That's why, what are you, what are you doing? And that Saturn up there, with the ring around it, teaching lessons on what not to do. But here we are, they keep on. Shit is weird as fuck, bro. Like, for real. Why, oh, because you want to do this. 
this is just some Uncle Bob and chill. They really got an issue with this. These weird people. And then you'll have some people that want you to be their woman in their sick ass head. And sometimes it could be somebody in your family. Cousins, brothers, uncles, weird. This incest shit. Y'all got some people in y'all family that got children with a brother. Just say you got a sister. Her child is by y'all brother. It don't nobody know. Just like, dang, it look like uncle. You look just like your uncle. But think it's the baby daddy's baby. I don't know. Weird. And with it too. They be with it. Kissing cousins and shit. Weird. And then if they see the baby don't come out retarded, they go in even more on some like, oh, okay, well, we can keep doing this. Like, what? It's an abomination. All in the family kind of shit. For real. This is a pregnancy card. whole last child by siblings and family members working together to keep this shit hush this shit going on worldwide crazy as hell and then some people just get fed up And when they get fed up, they get into shit. Like chaos magic. But ain't got no formal training, but it's in the bloodline. The next thing you know, they the next up and coming dark witch. Because they sick of this shit going on within the family that they know about, unfortunately. Yeah, man. King of Pentacles. Like, man, go the fuck here now. Some people see people coming. Like, I know you don't think this about to be done. Oh, you crazy, crazy, huh? On like some say the best for last. If they're a pedophile within the family, I'm going to wait till you get a little bigger. Like, and I'm going to wait to get a knife when you come with that bullshit and cut you from ear to ear. Or gut you like a fish. Or kick your nuts up into your throat. Or knock your teeth out your mouth and make, them shit up, make you shit them out your ass. Like my mother used to say. She know how to knock people's teeth out. She really do. Make them come through like a kidney stone. Don't fuck with her, honey. Look at people as pinnacles. I don't know. I don't know the pathology of a psychopath pedophile. I really don't. Or a rapist. I really don't. But clearly they look at children as Pinnacles, or people within their family that they rape or they molest or whatever is pinnacles. And then pay other people within the family to do magic to make it all come together nicely, kind of shit. Like, what? Oh, I won't be in no more family reunions with that kind of shit going on. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Mm -hmm. Bullies. Like this. Even with some of the boys in the family. Got a hands over their virginity to these weird ass motherfuckers. This on the three of swords. And they really be getting bright ideas. I can have a baby with my sister. She the only one that really loved me. And she's sexy too. Ain't nothing wrong with it. 
Psycho. I don't understand the pathology. I'm just tapping in and I'm getting right up out of there because that shit nasty as a motherfucker. And then if you don't roll with that kind of shit, you crazy. I don't think so. I guess I, uh, shit, I just, I, uh, shit, I guess I'll just be crazy. I guess I'll just be crazy. Because you got me fucked up. I'm seven of swords now, bitch. Because you got me fucked up. Been dead. And then, some of these motherfuckers is so crazy. They will have the audacity. Just put this. Okay. They will get rid of this person. That's the love of your life. Now, these are people within your family. That's bidding for you. I'm talking cousins, brothers, uncles. It don't matter. They know it will end up like this if you're married. I'm talking to single divine feminines that are in separation because people know that if you get a man, they can't run this shit. Weird, bruh. Weird. Weird. Imagining they self with you and stuff. Like, man, listen, this is so weird, Capricorn, honey, baby. <laughs> Get up out of here after a minute, you hear me? Hunter, predator. What is a right this? But a predator. For real, sick as fuck. Like, what? Oh, you ain't got no sense in your head, huh? And a lot of times, let me tell y'all how deep this shit is. A lot of times, for real, get the fuck away from me. A lot of times, you could have a brother. Let's just say you got a divine masculine and a brother that's the same zodiac sign. Your brother could have been a weirdo that jumped on the loop to get you. Like a karmic twin kind of shit. I ain't lying. Spirit be giving me all the game. I'm like, what? Like, on some, just the two of us type of stuff. Like, um, I don't think so. That's weird. And, you know, what, what other way is there to say it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some real shit. Mm-hmm. Copycat energy. But they'll be doppelgangers of y'all divine masculine but come in through your family. But they be a demiurge. Real talk. Lack of self-motivation. Driven by greed. A limited mindset. No ambition. Covetedness. Excessive desires. Sense of entitlement. You man. You always gonna be my sister. Can of shit. Like, whoa. Whoa. Oh, you nuts, nuts. Okay. I see. I see. <laughs> you hear me? Some of y'all like, oh my God. I mean, it's some sick shit going on within families. Honey. And then it be people agreeing. So what you go? You want her? Oh, I'm gonna take cuz and so and so. Yeah, she get she nice. What? What? What the It's no love. Uh -uh. You weird. <laughs> That's what y'all need to say. Uh, no. I ain't gonna be able to do it. You weird. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and let God separate this right now. You know. Because I ain't never got the time for no weird, disturbing shit like that. Ugh.
take the little pimp, the little pimp shit too far. You know what I'm saying? Be on some ugly shit. It's true, y'all. It's been happening for so many, and God keep a lot keep showing me. I be like this because a lot keep showing me um, incest. But he said he was just gonna give people over to that because that's what they've been doing. But they be trying to act normal. But they've been doing a whole lot of bidding within families, and then it'll be a witch that they pay to subdue somebody within the family to make them think what they're doing is all right. Like on some, well, we ain't got nobody and we can't find us nobody. Well, if you would stay out of people's love lives and quit doing separation spells or all this shit, also, we just gonna all end up together like the Clampets. Like, what? Oh, you, oh, oh okay, you crazy. And the law about to turn you over to your crazy. For real. He don't tamper with free will. That's what you want to do? Oh, okay. Go ahead. But you ain't coming for mine. If they say they ain't in it, I, you better go head on. That's weird. Cut off like a motherfucker. Bitch. Ugh. Sick. And be acting surprised. Oh, oh you slow. Okay. Going on for a long time. Going on for a long time. Mm hmm. Trying to get a wish fulfillment. You see that shit? This some slavery shit. Books. Plantation act. Bodies on bodies on bodies. And for real. They'll have children, they'll look normal outside, but inside, they be toe up. Really retarded, for real. Mildly retarded, for real. They just get by in society where you wouldn't be able to, you know, piggy. Real talk. Some of them don't got no uh, second brain. For real. I guess it's been going on. I don't know. I've always been a loner. I don't like no whole lot of people. I just don't. Never have. And if I feel some weird shit, I'm moving somewhere else. That's just what I do. Even if it's somewhere else in the house. If I feel like this type of weird shit, oh, I'm about to get little on you. Cause I get sick. Hierophant energies confirming that what I'm saying is true. Straight up tower, straight up bad idea, straight up honey baby don't follow man because honey let me tell you he gonna let you down every time. And they're comfortable with it. The weird way of life, they really is. But then they attack people that ain't. They comfortable with it, right? But then they come for people that ain't. Why are you doing that for? Do you not have a second brain? Is your brain shrunken? Are you that curse with a curse that you can't see that nobody wants in on what you're doing and ain't nobody coming to look and see what you're doing because ain't nobody into that weird shit? Also, I'm just going to take you. And people be talking this family stuff. Like, man, come on, man. 
Where the justice at? Because ain't nobody got the time. Can't you emancipate yourself from an entire family? I'm sure you can. Because this shit is weird as fuck. Which one you want? I want her. These people in y'all family. Bidding. With witches in y'all family. It, he want her. I take her. Right on the witchcraft card. And then if you don't, you know what I'm saying, do what they want you to do, then it becomes killer. That's where people get that sacrifice and shit from because everybody ain't down with that weird ass shit. This some old, deep, dark bullshit. <sighs> Look at that make you not even want no money. I ain't cat that. You, you go here. <laughs> this bitch. You ever see somebody eating and they eat how they eat looks so nasty? They ask you, Do you want some? You go, Uh uh, you go ahead. You know, <laughs> night of cups. Uh uh, slow the uh uh, no, uh uh, you go ahead, enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 lovers against the world. It's real, it is real. Why would you want to let go in some shit like this? Even if you hold on from a distance. This is some weird ass shit, bro. Yeah, this come right up on that point. And then it go like this. That's my divine masculine. Just, I love this person. Or, hey, look, this is just innocent, especially if you green to what's going on within the family and you think your brother is bro, you think your sister's sus. And you just say, next thing you know, you got some sisters that bed for brothers. You sleep, next thing you know. Real talk. Soon as you show them sharing, they go attacking, putting you in separation. And you don't even know that it's coming from the person that you're sharing with. That you know your joys, basically. These motherfuckers been psycho. You got some bitches and witches, dark witches within families that'll make their fathers right down. Just so they can cry rape and sue them or take their money or, you know, I'm telling you, you got dark witches in families that'll make they man rape their child so they can do something to the man. Okay, you rape. Okay, you don't want me to go to the police, but now you're there. And set it all up. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers is psycho. You're like, I wonder what the fuck that person would have been if they was with God, you know? Something amazing, you know? If they ain't with God, they was Satan. Don't be just celebrate. Name written out of the book. They took out of the book of life. You not in no book of life. Come on now. You ain't doing nothing but shelling out death. How you think you gonna be in the book of life? And you death on two feet. Since the day you were born. Kind of shit. Born with a hat on ready to get it in. This the motherfucker be coming on them loops. I'm trying to tell you. And this be people fighting for their right to stay alive with these weird ass motherfuckers. Let me get y'all a goddess. God, I'm sorry. Then we're going to get up out of here. 
Capricorn. This means something else, honey. Stop accepting everything from everybody. If you got the love in your life, hold on, hold on, hold on, and protect your assets, honey. And that is people. Your children, your lovers, your true friends, and you know that by the way it feels and by the way they behave. Don't turn off your gut instinct. Don't turn off your intuition. You know what you know. And you feel what you feel. Coming for two to nine-year-olds. Coming for two-year-olds to nine-year-olds. Make you nauseous. So arrogant. Always looking like they head is up. Like they like they proud of the shit they be doing. Always gotta take pictures where they chin is slightly up because they hold their head high kind of shit. Like bitch. Meanwhile, you can barely keep your head up because these hoes just keep down there. This is my mother energy on her birthday. <laughs> I praise God of art, spoken word, supernatural power. She done it for these hot, these people in the art world. Ooh, we, if you a dark art, ooh, she gunning. I'm just trying to tell you. She gunning. People talk too much, but then act like they are quiet all the time. They can't help but to say what's in their head. Ooh, You be like, what you just say? Lalita Tripura Sundara. Sundari. Sundari. Energy and power of the universe. Yeah, they be tampering with it. And they ain't got but nothing before arms. They ain't even mother fierce at all. But they be using their powers. To tamper with the universe. They really do. <sighs> Blue Tara. Thank God. Oh, thank Allah, honey. You don't get no better than Blue Tara. The protector of secrets. Mother of all inner knowing. So if any of y'all up under some form of extortion where y'all were doing stuff that they were making you do because you was under some type of binding spell or mind control. They can make you sleep with men. They can make you sleep with children. They can make you sleep with them. They can make you sleep with whoever. These people are sick. But Blue Tara is the protector of secrets, so it ain't no extortion. You're not about to do me in and then extort me. You're going to do shit. But sit down and shut the fuck up. Bitch. Talk about it, Kamala. Like, what is this? Like, a motherfucker can't get with you. Let's play devil then. And I'll be the Lady of Lotus and a wife. You ain't the only one that can get on by any by any means necessary shit. What the fuck you think this is? My mother said she'll turn into this so fast. She'll turn into all of these. Wrathful black mother. Divine feminine wisdom. Kills egos. 104 on the clock. 
So from a tanga to Tromo Nogmo, honey. Get it to birthday. Get it in, baby. All right, y'all. If you're feeling the vibe, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.